I've been renting cars now in Pittsburgh for over three years. Today, I'm going to walk you through how I started with only one vehicle and became Pittsburgh's top Turo host with over 50 vehicles in my fleet and how I continue to grow. Today, we're going to walk you through some of those secrets and some of the fundamentals that led me to my rental car success. Hey guys, George Madden here with Car Rental Coach. If today's your first time visiting the channel, make sure you click the little notification bell to make sure you're subscribed to our new videos and you don't miss a thing. And if you're interested in putting your car rental business on a fast track to success, you can go to carrentalcoach.com, fill out a quick 60 second survey and see if you're qualified to work with us. You might be wondering, why used cars? Well, let's break it down. New cars depreciate faster. By choosing a used car, you're letting someone else take the initial hit. Another major thing to consider is used vehicles don't rent for much less than newer models when it comes to Turo. When we're talking around a 2020 Nissan Rogue, for example, you might be able to rent that for around 50 to maybe even $60 in your market, depending on where you're located. But a model, say five years older, could actually still rent for a similar price, maybe even $42 to $45 a day. So so when you look at that actual difference, it makes sense to go with the used car that you're getting for a much steeper discount in pricing. Plus, you already have the depreciation of the vehicle factored in at purchase, saving you even more money when you go to resell the vehicle. Because a lot of Turo hosts only think about buying the vehicle at first, but they don't think about the time when it comes to sell the vehicle, and that leaves them losing on their investment. Now, the second secret to success is financing your vehicles correctly. I do not recommend taking out expensive auto loans to rent your vehicles on Turo and prefer to buy my vehicles either through cash or low interest financing. So, for example, one effective strategy that some of our clients have used and I've used myself is to get interest-free credit cards. So some credit cards, you can actually go for an interest-free period for up to 15 months. And I've actually received personally $45,000 worth of credit in this way that I was used to expand my fleet. I was able to pay off the credit cards before interest came due. If you can, I recommend saving up $10,000 in cash for your first car. That would be able to usually fetch you some decent economy car that will do well on Turo. Take your profits, reinvest them into expanding your fleet. If you're not able to do that, the credit card would be my next best option to recommend. Remember, the goal is to minimize costs and maximize returns. So we wanna make sure we're financing intelligently. So after sourcing your vehicle, one of the other most important things to keep in mind is your actual Turo settings. So when going through your settings, I'm talking about certain things like vehicle availability, vehicle pricing, your insurance, distance you allow people to use, discounts that you're offering. So I'm going to walk you through what I think the optimal settings are and what has increased my bookings the most and led to the maximum of my return on Turo with my investment. Step one is daily price management. So there's two different structures with pricing on Turo. One is called dynamic pricing and one is called custom pricing. So I believe the best thing to do is to adjust your prices every day depending on your demand and where you're at. For cars that aren't rented, consider lowering the price for a few dollars for a few days. This can significantly increase the chance of them being booked. And for cars that have been renting without an issue, try raising your price a few bucks every day and see how the market responds. What's nice about Turo is you'll be able to get direct feedback and figure out pricing very fast. All right, second, let's talk about availability with your vehicle and what's going to make sure your car is booked. So let's talk about booking availability. My recommendation, set your vehicle to book instantly with a one hour notice. This approach makes your listing more attractive to spontaneous renters and ensures higher utilization of your vehicle. Think about it. A lot of the people that rent my vehicles rent them because their car's in the shop and that's something usually people don't plan on. Uh, if your car breaks down spontaneously, you're going to see who is available then and you're not going to be waiting the next day for options in a lot of cases, especially if you have work, kids, all of those different factors that come into play. So making sure your car is always available is very important and will put you a step above the competition. Another tip when it comes to your settings is your trip duration. So Turo actually gives you the option to have a minimum and a maximum of when people are allowed to book your vehicle. So you can have trips as short as one day or as long as multiple months, it's up to you. Regarding trip duration, I suggest allowing people to book for as short or as long as they like. Many of my month long trips started with someone just booking for a day. This flexibility can lead to longer, more profitable rentals. One other popular tool that I know a lot of Turo hosts use is offering discounts on their vehicles. While I don't offer discounts personally, it's a strategy 
strategy you can consider during slow times. Remember, the right car selection can often mitigate the need for discounts. Lastly, my availability is phenomenal because I do remote key exchange where I don't actually meet the guests in person. So I'm able to have availability when most of the competition isn't even open. So a huge part of my strategy is availability. I use lockboxes for remote key exchanges. This allows for longer operating hours than most traditional rental car companies, giving me a competitive edge and also allowing me to have more passive income so I don't actually have to meet the guests in person and I'm able to do the remote handoff from my home or wherever I'm traveling at the time. So there you have it. Those are just a few of the secrets to my success on Turo and how I've been able to build the largest Turo fleet in Pittsburgh. Thank you for your time. And as always, make sure to go to carrentalcoach.com, fill out our quick 60 second survey to see if you qualify to work with us. And I look forward to talking to you. And if you wanna know exactly how we scaled our Turo fleet to over six figures, click on this video right here.